So let's zoom in on this, this hyper-personalization pipeline, which I built using Lakeflow declarative pipelines. So welcome to the new IDE for data engineering. So we built this so you can focus on the most important parts of data engineering. It has AI assistance, data exploration, and debugging built right in, and also production readiness. And this is the data flow graph. And what's happening here is data arrives on the left, and it ends up in these tables, these gold tables, which are materialized views. All right? And I can use this, this graph to navigate and monitor the pipeline. All right, so what I'm going to show you here is that this final gold table, for example, contains the table that powered my application. We have our per customer recommendations, so our customer service reps can give a great experience. So that's just the final output. And I can take a look at the other final gold table as well, which has further recommendations and rebalancing opportunities. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand some of the panes of the IDE to show you what's going on over here. So I'm going to minimize the DAG here. I'm going to drag some things around a little bit to create some space. So this is the file tree. And I use this to organize my code into bronze, silver, and gold layers. And I can organize the way I like. It's up to me. So you can see I did the medallion architecture here. And I added some tests as well. So the IDE includes testing, a native testing framework. I write some code here. And this is the familiar DAG that I just showed you, the pipeline graph. And OK, let's take a look. So I can, I can explore the, through the DAG, but I can also have this purpose-built pane at the bottom. And in the panes at the bottom, we have the ability to view tables, performance, and so forth. All right, so let's take a look at the code behind one of these tables. And you're going to be a little surprised to see that there's actually very little code. And that is the power of declarative ETL. You're freed up to write your business logic without worrying about infrastructure. And of course, you can mix in SQL, but you can also mix in Python in Lakeflow declarative pipelines. So I'm going to run this pipeline in a moment. And I'm going to show you something really cool. This is powered by serverless compute for the best possible experience. And while the pipeline runs, I'm going to show you a quick demo of the, of the uh, database assistance. And I'm going to add some data quality checks. And I don't know how to write those. I'm just going to ask the assistant. And as you can see, the assistant added a valuable data quality check. And this is how I have high, high quality data. And finally, just to put it into production, it's as simple as hitting the schedule button. And with that, my pipeline is ready for CI, CD, and DevOps. All right, so that's the demo. And let's switch back to slides.